All right, folks, buckle up your spacesuits and get ready for the ride of a lifetime. We're not talking about a Sunday drive in the country or even a high-speed chase on the freeway. Nope. We're talking about the granddaddy of all adrenaline rushes. This is the ultimate thrill ride, a rocket launch. Now, I'm sure you've seen them on TV or maybe even in person if you're lucky. Those massive towers of steel and fire roaring as they tear away from the Earth defying gravity with a power and fury that's almost unimaginable. It's an awe-inspiring sight, and one that never fails to send shivers down the spine. But have you ever stopped to think about what's actually happening during a rocket launch? It's not just about strapping a giant firecracker to your back and hoping for the best. Oh no, there's a whole lot more to it than that. There's science, engineering, and a fair bit of bravery involved too. Let's break it down. The rocket, which you might think of as a giant metal tube, is actually a carefully designed machine. It's packed with fuel and has powerful engines that can generate millions of pounds of thrust. That's enough to lift the rocket and its precious cargo out of Earth's gravitational pull. The countdown begins. Tensions rise. The rocket engines ignite and suddenly you're not just watching a launch. You're experiencing it. The ground shakes. The air fills with the roar of the engines. The rocket lifts off, slowly at first, then faster and faster until it's just a bright speck in the sky. As you watch it disappear into the blue, you can't help but feel a sense of awe. You've just witnessed one of humanity's greatest achievements. And you've felt the thrill, the sheer exhilaration of liftoff. It's like a roller coaster ride, but a thousand times more intense. So brace yourself and hold on tight. This is no ordinary journey. This is a voyage to the stars, a leap into the unknown. This is the thrill of a lifetime. Strap yourself in because we're about to experience the ultimate thrill ride, liftoff. Now, I don't know about you, but when I look down at our beautiful blue marble from space, I'm struck by a sense of awe. There it is, our home, spinning gently in the infinite black canvas of the cosmos. It's like a delicate watercolor painting with swirls of azure sea, patches of emerald green, and streaks of wispy white clouds. And let's not forget about those polar ice caps, glittering like diamonds at the ends of the Earth. It's enough to make you feel a little dizzy, or perhaps that's just the zero gravity talking. Either way, it's a sight that's sure to take your breath away. And I'm not just saying that because there's no air in space. From up here, even the highest mountain ranges seem like mere wrinkles in the Earth's surface. The Grand Canyon, more like the mediocre ditch, and those sprawling metropolises with their towering skyscrapers and bustling streets are nothing more than tiny specks of light. It's a humbling perspective to say the least, but don't let the serene beauty of our planet fool you. Earth is a bustling hub of activity, teeming with life in all its varied forms. From the tiniest microbe to the largest whale, every living thing calls this planet home. And let's not forget about us humans, always bustling about, making a ruckus. From up here though, everything seems peaceful, quiet. It's almost enough to make you forget about traffic jams and Monday morning meetings. Of course, it's not all tranquil ocean views and serene landscapes. There are also hurricanes, volcanoes, and other natural phenomena that remind us of the raw power of Mother Nature. It's like Earth is saying, hey, I might be beautiful, but don't mess with me. And yet, despite the chaos and the calm, the beauty and the beast, one thing remains constant. Earth, our home, is a sight to behold. It's like seeing an old friend dressed up for a fancy party. You think to yourself, wow, Earth, you clean up real nice. Seriously, though, who knew our planet could look so good from a few million miles away? Ah, Mars, the reddest of all the planets and our potential future vacation spot. Imagine this. You're lounging on a Martian rock sipping a tangy space cocktail and gazing out at the vast, rusty landscape. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, hold on to your space helmets, because this dream might just become a reality. Let's be real though, Mars isn't your typical seaside resort. It's a whole new world of challenges and wonders. Picture this, towering Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in the solar system, peeking out of the horizon, and the grandeur of Valles Marineris, a canyon system that would put our Grand Canyon to shame. The views are out of this world, quite literally. But let's not forget the thrilling activities lined up for you. Ever tried sandboarding? Well, on Mars, you can upgrade to dust storm surfing. And if that's too extreme for you, there's always the option of a leisurely stroll around the planet. Just remember to pack your oxygen tank. Now, 
Mars isn't exactly famous for its hospitality. With temperatures that can drop to a chilly minus 80 degrees Celsius at night and carbon dioxide filled winds, this isn't your average beach holiday. But don't worry, we've got you covered with the latest in spacesuit fashion, insulated, pressurized, and oh so stylish. And let's not forget about the local cuisine. Ever tasted a space grown potato? Well, Mars is the perfect place to try it. The Martian soil, with a little help from our scientists, can be conditioned to grow crops so you can enjoy a fresh salad while gazing at the Martian sunset. Talk about a dinner with a view. Just a heads up though. Mars isn't known for its nightlife. With no clubs or bars in sight, you might have to make your own fun. But who needs a dance floor when you can have a moonwalk party under the stars? So, if you're looking for an adventure that's truly out of this world, Mars might just be your next holiday destination. Oh, and don't forget your sunscreen, it's a scorcher out there. Now, if you're thinking of packing your bags and moving to Mars, there are a few things you should know. Mars isn't quite like your neighborhood on Earth. No corner cafes, no strolls in the park. It's a little more rustic, shall we say. And while it might be the perfect place for solitude seekers and those who love the color red, it's not without its challenges. First off, Mars isn't exactly famous for its balmy weather. Picture the coldest winter day you've ever experienced and then imagine it even colder. That's a warm day on Mars. So you might want to pack your warmest jacket and maybe a thermal blanket or two. And then there's the commute. The trip from Earth to Mars isn't your average dash down the freeway. We're talking about a journey that takes months. Yes, months. So if you're planning a move to the red planet, a good book or a podcast or two might be in order. And secondly, the commute back to Earth is killer. So make sure you've got a good playlist for the trip. And here we have the latest in spacecraft technology, complete with all the bells and whistles. It's like we've taken a page out of a sci-fi novelist's dream and brought it to life. How's that for reality meeting fiction? These aren't your grandpa's rockets, no siree. These marvels of modern engineering are decked out with the finest tech that humanity has to offer. Imagine, if you will, a car, but not just any car. This one is equipped with all the latest gadgets and gizmos. It's got GPS, but not for navigating city streets. Oh no, this one helps you navigate the cosmos. Now that's what I call a step up from your standard satellite navigation. And let's not forget about the engine. We're not talking about a simple combustion engine here. We're dealing with propulsion systems that can generate millions of pounds of thrust. It's like strapping a bunch of supercars together and pointing them skyward. And the fuel? Let's just say it's a tad more potent than your average unleaded. But what's a high-tech spaceship without a comfortable interior, right? Rest assured, these spacecraft are designed with the comfort of the crew in mind. There's enough room to stretch out, exercise, and even catch some Zs. It's like a five-star hotel, but with a much better view. And let's not forget about the safety features. From advanced life support systems to state-of-the-art radiation shielding, these spacecraft are designed to keep the crew safe in the harsh environment of space. It's like having a personal bodyguard, except this one's job is to protect you from solar flares and space debris. So next time you're watching a sci-fi movie and you see those sleek, futuristic spaceships darting across the screen, remember this. The real thing is not far off. In fact, it's already here. We've got the technology. We've got the expertise. All that's left is to pack our bags and set our sights on the stars. Cue the dramatic music and slow motion shots of astronauts floating through zero gravity. This is the real deal, folks. And now, for the grand finale, terraforming. Think of it as extreme gardening, but instead of pruning roses and repotting succulents, we're reshaping entire planets. Picture this. Mars, but with oceans, forests, and maybe even a white picket fence or two. Sounds a bit far-fetched, doesn't it? But with the power of science and a sprinkling of human ingenuity, it might just be possible. We're talking about injecting greenhouse gases into the Martian atmosphere to trap heat, melting the polar ice caps to create water, and then introducing plants to produce oxygen. It's gardening on a truly cosmic scale. But it's not all sunshine and roses. Terraforming is a process that would take centuries, if not millennia, to complete. And there's always the risk of space bugs munching on your freshly planted Martian roses. Just make sure you water your Martian garden and watch out for those pesky space weeds.